So today we're going to look at grading and importing grades for a quiz made in Google Forms that does, doesn't does have a full set of self-grading answers, meaning that some of my answers might be a short answer or a paragraph or, you know, essay type questions. This tutorial assumes you already know how to import grades with a basic multiple choice self-grading quiz. So this is sort of the next level of this type of grading. I have a quiz that I put into Google Classroom and I just want to show you the quiz before we get moving on. So here's the quiz. It's just asking for your name and those kind of things. Uh, actually, this is usually not necessary when using Google Classroom, but I have it in there anyway. Now, I'm, the, it, I have some silly uh, trivia questions in here. Each of them is set to be worth five points. And these will be self-grading because they're all true and false or multiple choice. They're actually all multiple choice. But then down here, I have some short answer ones. Now, when we take a look at this, let me go into edit mode. When we take a look, uh, I have these set up a little bit different. This one is a short answer one where I've actually put in the correct answer. So if a student were to put in that exactly with the right capital letters and everything, uh, th they, they would be marked correct on this. It would check it for me. So it, there is a way to do that. However, as we know, not everybody does it exactly the same way and trying to put in all of the options for how many different ways students might answer a question like this could that get difficult. Now, this one is a second one that is I have no uh, answer designated for it. So I just wanted to show you the different scenarios. Okay, so this whole quiz should be worth 35 points. Now, I already re submitted a response as a student Okay, so let's go to Classroom and see how we do this. Now I'm getting my responses, so I'm going to go to see what's turned in. So I'm going to import my grades, and I uh, submitted this test as a student to make sure that I had full credit. I got everything right. So I'm going to import my grades, and you'll see that my student only got 25 out of 35, even though I know that student answered everything correctly. And that's because the self-grading answers were not graded correctly for a couple of different reasons. So how do we grade this? Well, the best thing to do is to click and just open up the quiz. When you do, you have to go into edit mode. So the next step is to go to edit mode. And there's a few more steps left, but after you do this two or three times, you'll have it. After you go to edit mode, click on responses. And after we go to responses, we have three tabs. And the last of which over here on the right is individual. And I can go through here. Now these top questions had no point value set to them, so they're not affected at all. And you can see that I can look through this student and see what they got right or wrong and you'll see at the very end there those two are wrong now this works just like the other grading in uh, when we're using google classroom in that if you see these arrows they're dimmed here because i only have one response i don't have more than one but if i did have more than one i could click to the next one and go through each of these as if this was a stack of quizzes you know um, back on a you know old-fashioned paper type of situation that had been maybe turned in, you know, into a wire basket or something in a classroom. I could also scroll to individual uh, submissions from my various students this way. But this is what I've got right now. And what I need to do is give the student credit for these questions that were marked wrong. So the first thing I need to do is check. Well, they obviously knew who it was, but they didn't put the team, they just put Edmonton. That's a very common way to, to uh, refer to a sports team, right? So um, I am going to go in here and mark this right. So when I do, I'm gonna put five, okay? And then this next one is what's a, Twitter's original name and the response was Twitter, but I didn't designate a right answer for that. So that one I have to grade manually no matter what, and I can do five for them. Once you are done adding point values to the questions, 
This, you, you'll see this as soon as you put your first value in at the bottom. The, the ability to save, okay? I'm gonna save this. So that's taken care of. So now let me go back to classroom and let's re-import our grade. Now this import grade section, you can do any time you want. So if you wanna keep on checking on scores, you can. Let's re-import this now that the grades have been updated. And I'm going to import. And sure enough, we have a happy uh, score here, 35 out of 35. Everything has worked properly. So you can see that e even though this takes a little more work than just a basic multiple choice type of quiz, it's still very easy to grade this way. Well.